Hi, my name is Araceli Dominico Jesusto Laza, and I'm from PIA Bilingual Academy of Manatee. And today we're going to be exploring the correlation between air and water quality. The root problem. Both drinking water quality and air quality have significant effects on human health. Literature also supports that there is a connection between air quality and water quality. We believe that as PM 2.5 and temperature in the air increase, the quality of the water through pH, dissolved oxygen, and temperature will decrease. Our definable variables for this project were PM 2.5, air temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, and water temperature. To collect our data, to collect the air data, we use a continuous monitoring of P2.5 and air temperature using purple L and IQ air sensors. To collect the water data, we use a continuous monitoring of dissolved oxygen, pH, and water temperature at two sites using USGS. The sites are near Houston and Bayamon. We recorded the data orally over the first week of July 2024. Here's an overview of the Houston data site. The water quality tracking and air quality tracking are roughly 2.8 miles away. Seeing the correlation between temperature and water quality traits, there is a positive correlation. Interestingly, the correlation between the air temperature and the dissolved oxygen content in the water is a stronger correlation than between the water temperature and the dissolved oxygen in the water. Looking at the correlation between PM2.5 and water quality in Houston, there doesn't seem to be a significant correlation. Here's an overview of the site from the water from the water and air sensor that are 2.2 miles and 6 miles away from the site. And for the PM2.5, there seems to be a strong correlation between the PM2.5 and the water temperature and the pH, but there's a low correlation with the dissolved oxygen. Um, this is a site for the water quality. Um, the air temperature um, uh, seems to have a high correlation with the pH and also with the um, water temperature. But again, with the dissolved oxygen, the correlation is really low compared to the others. Looking at the two sites, the PM2.5 seemed to have a stronger correlation to the pH and dissolved oxygen in Puerto Rico. However, in Houston, it was the air temperature that seemed to have a stronger correlation. Hi, my name is Jennifer Raymond, and I'm from Richardson High School. The analysis of our data, we have the PM2.5 versus the water temperature, as PM2.5 reduces the dissolved oxygen in the water, which as a side effect causes the water temperature to increase, and the higher the water temperature, the lower the dissolved oxygen. We have the PM2.5 versus dissolved oxygen, the P2.5 increases the turbidity in the water. When that happens, there's not enough sunlight that can reach onto the underwater path. And the less sunlight, the less photosynthesis, and the less dissolved oxygen in the water. The P2.5 and the water pH, when large amounts of P2.5 in the atmosphere can cause acid rain. And when that acid rain comes in contact with the water, it lowers the pH of the water, and as a result of that, we obtain as the water obtains acidic properties. And the air temperature versus the dissolved oxygen, as mentioned before, when water temperature increases, the dissolved oxygen decreases. So when the water when the air temperature increases, the water temperature, as a result, the levels of dissolved oxygen in the water decreases. During our internship, we had many challenges, but we also had highlights. Some of our challenges were working virtually in different time zones, learning Excel, and understanding graphing relationships. But some of our highlights was being able to download that, these large data sets, creating correlational graphs, and getting new understandings of the interactions between air and water in different locations. Over these past weeks, I feel a lot of growth in this from this internship. I also know that in the future, I want to continue exploring research as that was something I really enjoyed. 
started this week, I was able to recognize a significant improvement in my knowledge and personal skills obtained over this internship. I acknowledge how much I really enjoy doing research and how teamwork is one of the best tools for science. Thank you. Thank you.